Hello students. Are you ready for another lesson of grammar? Good. Welcome to ITTV lesson. Now, I'm Miss Helen, your Form 3 English language tutor. And the topic for today is based on WH questions. <laughs> Now, when do we use WH questions? Now, that's when we want to find out. All right, students, look at the examples now on WH questions. The first one, what? Next, where? Next, who? Whom? Which? Why? When? Who is? And how? Now, when you look at these words, it's like asking for information. What? What is that object? Or where? To find out about a location or a place. So, you're going to find out more. Now, look at a question word. Now, WH are all question words. We're going to ask questions. So here, the function of what, used for people and things, to ask information about something. For example, now what is your name? Now, this is being referred to a person. So that's why we said people. What is your name? What is in this room? Now, here, what is referring to an object but what is your name is referring to a person next question word is which function used for people and things but for a limited number of people and to ask about choices now when we say which for people is to indicate a particular person so remember here you might get a bit confused, but with usage, you will get it correct. Because normally, we use who for people, but here, which, we say used for people, don't get me wrong. For example, we say, which boy did this? All right, then we use which boy. Otherwise, we'll say, who did this? So here, it depends on the situation. Otherwise, which is used for things, animals. Now look at the example, which boy stole your bicycle? Or you can even say, who stole your bicycle? So then we don't know who it is, whether it's a boy or a girl. But here, which sort of indicates a particular person. None of the girls are involved in the theft, but a boy. So that's why, which boy? Point to the boy. B, which book is more interesting? Now here, comparison. Remember, in your previous lesson, you learned about comparative adjectives. Next, we are going to the question word, when. Now, when indicates time, to ask about time. Look at the example, when is recess? So you want to know at what time is your recess. Next, when are you going to Singapore? You want to know the date. Next, question word, where to ask for place or location. Sentence. A. Where is my umbrella? So you want to know where is your umbrella kept. It's missing. So you want to know where. B. Where did you see my cat? Your cat must have gone missing. So you want to find out where. Where did you see it? Next. Who? Question word who. To ask which person has a subject? When you say subject, that means who comes first. Now, who did this to the little boy? You see, who is the subject? So, let's look at examples. Now, who took my pen? Now, who there is a subject? B, who is smarter? 
These are very easy examples for you to follow. Next question word is whom. To ask which person as object of a verb. Now earlier we used who as a subject. Here we are using whom as an object. Object of a verb. Now let's look at the example of the sentences given here. A. Whom did they call to attend the meeting? B. Whom did you meet at the doorway? Next, whose. Now, the function of using whose is to find out about ownership or possession. Examples, whose dress is this? So you want to find out who is the owner of the dress. Next, whose tumbler is this? The next question word is why. Now, why is asking for a reason. You want to find out why this happened. You're asking for a reason. Okay, look at the sentences. Why are you staring? B. Why didn't you go to school today? Now we come to the final question word, how. Now all the other question words were beginning with WH. Now this one is how, H. Now when you ask something how, it's like you want to find out how did it happen? Alright, so for the manner of things or just mannerism. The sentences here. How is the weather in London now? So you want to find out about the weather. How is it? Whether is it winter, is it summer, spring? Okay, B. How did you manage to complete your homework last night? Maybe you had too much to do and your friend asked you, how did you manage to finish it, to complete it? All right, now we are going to use WH questions. And we are going to look at this exercise. Look at the picture. Might get you excited. Okay. All right. Now look at the question. Who celebrates this festival? Now you're going to get into a festive mood. I'm sure by looking at the picture, you definitely know who celebrates this festival. Answer Christians. Christians are people who embrace. Christianity. Next question, when do they celebrate it? You want to know when is the festival? Answer, 25th December every year. It's fixed. Number three, what do they do before the festival? Answer, clean the house and make cookies. Next, number four, where is their place of worship? Answer, in church. Christians worship in church. Number five, what do they exchange on this day? That's Christmas Day. What do they exchange? Answer, presents, definitely presents. Number six, who comes to their house on this day? Friends and relatives. Now, students, if you look at these questions in the format given, it will also guide you to write your essay. Now, when you write an essay, all you have to do is answer these questions and then elaborate. Put in a lot of extra information, like the preparation. You see here, they've said cleaning the house and making cookies. Now what about putting up the Christmas tree, decorating the tree, shopping? So remember all these points. It'll help you in your essay writing. Elaborate. Now, let's look at the next exercise. It's a guessing game. And this is where all the fun is. Now, think of an object, write the name of the object and put it in a box. Now, tell your friends to ask WH questions to identify the object 
you have in mind, you must answer to every WH question asked. Now this is going to be a fun activity. Or you can even play this game with your siblings, your brothers and sisters at home. It's really fun. So go ahead and have the guessing game. You can have it in school as well during your free time, maybe at the canteen during your recess. Next, we have another exercise where you're going to fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Now, we are still with WH questions. So look at question one. Blank, are you crying? It's very simple, isn't it? The answer, why are you crying? So when you use the word why, you are asking for reason. Next, is the date today? Think of the answer. Got it? What is the date today? Next, are you visiting your grandparents? Answer, when are you visiting your grandparents? Number four, blank, is that man with a black necktie? Answer, who is that man with a black necktie? Number five, blank, is my bag the green or the blue one? Answer, which is my bag the green? or the blue one. Number six, blank, wallet is this. Answer, whose wallet is this? Number seven, did you scold just now? Got the answer? Let's check it out. Whom did you scold just now? That was easy, wasn't it? Good. Now, I'm going to give you the summary of the whole lesson. Now, what? Used for things. To ask for information about something. Which? Used for things, animals, and choice. When? To ask about time. Very simple, easy to remember. All right, the next WH word. Question word, where? To ask which place or the location. Who? To ask which person as a subject. Whom? To ask which person as an object, object of a verb. Whose? About ownership or possession. So students, we have come to the end of our lesson. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Now have fun doing the guessing game and practice the question words, WH question words. Till we meet again for the next session, thank you and bye for now.